This is rest stop on Reaper One Skull. Once proud castle has fallen to ruin. Its halls, in excess adventures, stand around the campfire. So you could uh, get some optionals by talking to some to these uh, store in the ruins. It may people? be wise I'm to make grab sure this your torch. are well stocked. So we're going to skip all the optionals there. That way, you just do a lot of talking and. Uh, Takes a this few minutes and get a little bit, bit of XP. Unused in the main the rear of the fireplace opens smoothly, pulled open by some hidden mechanism. for the nether scroll piece as well. A frustrated voice echoes from down the hall. Oh, find the way to dispel so the left, left there is a optional. We're going to skip that. We'll just do the required method the required way. I do all the work and you'll get all the credit. And he takes the chest with him. We'll find up, catch up with him later. We're just going to go into this room first. And we should have all the, um, everything we need for this quest to do the uh, optional. Did somebody grab that skull? Let's see. I think this was the arcane one, this staff. the remnants and we are just going to go sort of counterclockwise I guess we'll take this elemental wave first the reek of still and stagnant pools we could just ignore these but we don't really have a problem with DPS in this party the foul stench is particularly strong at this spot Dark shadows whisper the water of the Nether East must have been something in this place. So it looks like they've taken care of the rats. I was going to cleave the rats over here, but that's probably just as good too. Let me grab my restore. So normally shadows do the um, stat damage, but this is a shadow corrupted water elemental, so it does stat damage also. Before the elemental breaks apart and evaporates. 
So there's four things we need to get. Uh, the first staff, the first staff, this elemental, and then two more staffs. So we're gonna get the other two staffs now. And each one will have a requirement. So we're going to take this door, and the reason we do this door instead of the other door is if we go to the other door, he'll flee in here and we'll have to fight. Or no, if, if we go in the other door, we have, um, he'll, he'll flee and we'll have to fight these guys all together. So this just makes it a little bit easier. We get my hireling up, and one of us should be able to get this. We should have everything we need for this. Uh, my strength hopefully is good enough. Yeah, strength. All right, so my strength was good enough for that. If you can't you disable the staffs, then you just uh, break it and it does some heavy damage to you. No big deal, but you wanna make sure you have your hireling back in case the hireling needs to raise you. And this is the boss fight, this will be the last and final staff and the other one was this the past the last one was strength this one is the previous one was divine so this is going to be arcane which um i actually don't know if chronovir counts as arcane so we may not have it Let the adventurers are nowhere to be seen they must have retired for the night the overseer and element All right, so must have been uh, alchemist alchemist counts must count as arcane, that's dead, good. The sound of They're under specialists, so I wasn't sure if they would distance. count as arcane or not. This is the end the fight. We're going to get some respawning wizard mob or uh, rat mobs. I'm glad they're not wizard mobs. That would be much rougher. So we'll get this guy, uh, and then when the rats come, we'll cleave. And and of course, Karate's got a bunch of stuff. He's got his blade barrier and his uh, implosion, which is going to get some mobs. And Chronovir has amazing damage, so we should should make pretty good work of this uh, fight. You see, there's a famine reaper too. But you see, uh, you see the power of uh, leaving these rats. Pretty good. All right, another remnant. And so, um, you know, when you see the spells like implosion and stuff, it looks like wow, they're so powerful. White wire, you know, they're more powerful. But uh, they're on cooldowns, whereas our melee is on a very short cooldown. So we're able to make good work of mobs uh, with a very short cooldown. Oh, let me show the let me show the Reaper XP. 474 Reaper XP. That is rest up on Reaper One Skull.